Is the GSX S 750 a good beginner bike? And I will give you the answer now of guys welcome back to the channel we finally did it hit a hundred subs and I think we're over 14 K views at the moment so I want to thank you all for the love and support it means the world to me it's a huge milestone in the short amount of time I've been doing this I'm gonna say thank you all from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate it all I think I'm gonna answer the most common question I get Pretty much on the daily, is the GSX-S 750 a good beginner bike? And I will give you the answer now of, it depends. And I only say that because if you never drove any kind of motorcycle before and you just want to hop on this and go down the road and learn it all, the mechanics on this, I do not think that is a good option only for the sole purpose of you're getting on a 750 for your first motorcycle to try to learn on and I do not think that's a good idea I drove uh, 81 400 and an 81 500 for pretty much a year and I feel like I grasped it pretty fast on how mechanics are and just driving a bike in general it, it's a toss-up between yes or no it really is if you feel comfortable enough when you take your test or you drove dirt bikes before or whatever I definitely do think that it is a good idea now if you're not comfortable at all with either the mechanics or just being on a bike in general I do not think that it is a good idea. Now I see a lot of people saying they want to upgrade from SV650s, 500s, or whatever the case may be, whatever you have. This is definitely a good upgradable bike from a, a bike that you previously had that's under 750. I have my review. If you haven't watched it, I will link it down below. It's a great bike. The only really bad thing I have to say, and I get it in my comments all the time, is the seat. I'm currently going to Daytona Beach Bike Week, and I think it's a 400 mile trip, and I'm not happy about it, because it is going to be horrible, but I did buy a gel pad, and we will see how that goes. We'll get there one way or another. It won't be too bad. Blessed to have great weather and a great bike to ride on. If you didn't see my last video of me reviewing this bike right next to me, be sure to check that out too. He's going to have no problem going the 400 miles to Daytona, but I mean, I knew I was, what I was getting myself into. I mean, it is a naked bike going that far. Probably not a good idea, but we'll get through it. We're joined today by my stepfather. I feel like it's my partner in crime at this point. Uh, going to Daytona Bike Week and we're gonna have a great time man can't wait to get some videos for you guys and hopefully I pray that it is better than Ocean City Bike Fest if you have not seen that video you can also see that below it was just a bad overall time felt like Harley's just ruled the world there and I just not a big fan of that we're all here to share the same passion man why don't we all just get along oh my god someone please help me 407 miles mm. well I guess we'll see you on the road alrighty and we are back with 400 miles to go on a naked bike gonna be a long ride so seeing a sign that said Spence Parkway I want to tell you guys a little story so my uncle 
name was Spence. Uh, he was riding to work one day on his bike. Everything was good. He drove a Harley. He went out to get lunch and he come back, hit a big pothole in the road, crashed the bike and drug his head like, I don't know, a couple hundred feet. So I just want to say, and I, pl I pray and I pledge this, that everybody stops wearing bull helmets. It is not worth you dying over. Or even if you're in a state like Florida or Pennsylvania, that I know off the top of my head that are no helmets, it is not worth dying over. Your family needs you. I just don't know why people would do that. Like if they said that you don't need to wear seatbelts and everybody would just be like, oh, I don't need to wear a seatbelt. If it saves your life, why not wear it? I know I'm not in a full race and get up, which I should be, because it saves your life. Just please, if you have the option between a bowl helmet and a full face, wear the full face. It's not worth dying over. I know you look cool. It's cooler, you don't sweat. It doesn't matter, man. I don't know how many times I have to tell people to do it. It just doesn't make sense. Why would you do something that would take you away from your family and your loved ones and your kids? And whatever the case may be, it's not worth it. I actually took a break from motorcycles for a while because of it. When you hear that your uncle just passed because of driving a motorcycle, it's, it, it's just not fun, man. It's not. I think we're going to end the video here. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I appreciate all the love and support. It means a lot. It means the world to me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you on the flip side, which happens to be Daytona Beach Bike Week. So we'll see you there. Peace.